What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing awesome today. Guys, it has been forever since I have been on YouTube and made a video or anything. Hope you guys are doing freaking amazing. I hope you've had all kinds of happiness and luck and watched your bank account grow over the past couple months. But, guys, let's talk about some shit. I haven't talked shit in a long time. We have been so busy. Well, we had my daughter's wedding, you know, a few months, a month or so ago. That was absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. It was amazing. Then she went to Jamaica for her honeymoon, which is cool. And uh, it just, I have just been absorbed and, with stuff to do. And sorry, love you guys. But let's talk about a few things. Number one, Chad Bitch Dorman. Y'all remember Chad Bitch? Yeah, he's the piece of shit that killed his kids in Ohio, shot his three young children, and then his wife was trying to fight him off and shot her through the thumb and all that. Well, I haven't heard anything about him in forever, and I just happened to be on the internet just looking around at things, just reading the news and all that, and I saw his little punk-ass name pop up. And I saw his name pop up, and so I started reading, and I was like, what's going on here? Because he doesn't have court until... I think it's June or July of next year. So, he, you know, he's stuck in, I think he's in Claremont County, which is a little suburb of Cincinnati on the outskirts. Um, my neighbor's pulling up. But a uh, little outskirts of Cincinnati. And you remember how I always told you, it doesn't matter where you are in prison or jail or whatever. It doesn't matter where you are or who you are. Your day will come if it if you had done something to deserve it, to put yourself there. Uh, Derek Chauvin, a couple weeks ago, I think it was Black Friday, everyone said he was gonna be perfectly safe and fine and everything else. He got stabbed 22 times. Hate that number, but he got stabbed 22 times. And like, damn near killed him. They had to perform life-saving measures and everything else, And but you know, I haven't really heard anything else about that. I did see the guy that that did it. You know, he uh, he uh, he said that he did it just because of everything that he done, the publicity of the case and all that, which I I understand. But you always said he would get his at some point when it when he was able to be got, he was going to get got, and he got got, <laughs> got it, and then. You know, Larry Nassar, we all remember that piece of shit. He, uh, uh, he got stabbed again, you know, so he's been stabbed twice. Uh, Carly Russell, the girl from, uh, from Georgia that faked a kidnapping. Well, yeah, faked a kidnapping, said a toddler that she was driving down the interstate and saw a toddler walking upside the interstate at like 10 o'clock at night, faked the whole thing, remember her? Well, I didn't even know. She completely has left my mind, but she... Has already had a court date. Everything's verdict. Everything already done. She got um, eighteen thousand dollars in restitution and fines, a little under eighteen thousand, and then a year in jail. But her attorney—they're all appealing it, so she's not in jail yet. Her attorney is—they're appealing it. They said they don't care about the money, the eighteen thousand dollars. They're fine with. He, but his, her attorney said, "Show me in history, bring me a court case." of where anyone in history has ever got one had no criminal history whatsoever and got a year in jail on a class a misdemeanor class a is the lowest misdemeanor that they rank they raised a b c d a is the lowest um so they're fighting that i really i don't think she'll go to jail i mean she might do two or three four months but i don't think she's going to do the year they're fighting it too much and too hard and as bad as i hate the bitch her attorney's got a point that no one's ever got a year for a class A misdemeanor on the first first criminal offense of their life. It just doesn't happen. Uh, let's see. Biden's still really old. Don't need to be president. Trump is still a piece of shit. Needs to be in jail. There's so many wars going on right now. There's the Israel and there's still Ukraine and everything else. I did see a thing that Biden told, was it Kim Jong-un or whatever anything in South Korea that, or North Korea, that if they shoot a missile at any one of the U.S. allies, that there will be some serious repercussions. And 
then that dude shot a missile last night or this morning. I don't know where it went. I didn't. And my wife told me about it, but I didn't read it because I don't really give a shit. Blow something up. I don't care. But the main reason for this video is Chad Bitch. Okay. Here's a couple things. Remember, I always told you, like I said, you know, criminals, inmates, convicts, however you want to call it, have a different outlook and a different set of rules for someone that does something like he did to children. So his is coming, but two people that was in jail, like he is completely segregated away from everybody. I mean, you talk about protective custody, this dude's under some serious ass protective custody and that's a county jail. When he gets to a prison, yes, he will be in protective custody, but he will not, he will be able to, to people to get to him. You know, at some point, just like Chauvin and uh, Larry Nasser, all that, they're supposed to be. Look, Derek Chauvin had the biggest case in history, popular wise, popularity wise, and they got him. You know, so, but two inmates was released. Let me read you the, these. They interviewed him, this newspaper, whoever this is, it's called The Messenger. I don't even know where it is. I'm assuming in Ohio. But um, they said, one of them said, Everyone wants to kick his ass. Um, this guy, he was an inmate who was charged with drug drug possession and re released last week. They said he is the lowest of the low. If I had a shot at him, I'd take it. Another prisoner that was in there with him um, said the most hardened criminals are shocked by uh, Dorman's alleged crimes. He's scum. He needs to be taken, taken out. Anyone who does that to children doesn't deserve to live. Because remember, I told you that there's a different set of rules. And then the judge has seen him twice, Chad Bitch, twice since his arraignment and all that. Said that he is the politest guy, said he is the nicest guy. They've never had issues out of him, that he is straight, straight and narrow, all about the rules, everything else. That's cool. Get on good, get your good behavior in. So they were like, you know what? You're doing so good. We're gonna let you, we're gonna give you a little bit more freedom out in the. We'll let you do more stuff closer to people because you're doing so good. That's when they're gonna fuck that boy up, and it's gonna happen, guaranteed fact. I will bet anything in my life, Chad Dorman will get fucking beat to death at some point. You know, and like I always said, does it? it, it might, it's not always the first day or the first week or the first month or the first year. It could be five years. He's getting life. Uh, and he's probably, he's going to get the death penalty, you know, but it's going to happen at some point. There's going to be that one second that a guard is looking that way. Chad is that way. Boom. They're going to tear his ass up. It's going to happen. Um, let's see. Anything else that I'm forgetting that's been going on? Probably. <laughs> I just don't know. Like I said, Biden's too old to be president. Trump's piece of shit. I know I did see a thing where Trump was bitching about Biden saying that all he's doing is making the rich people the richer richer because yesterday or day before they set a record with the stock stock market it was up like 37,000 points or whatever in the hell that is but it broke a record that was set in 2022 under Biden's administration so it doesn't matter how good you do you're going to get bashed one way or the other that's just politics I can't stand politics. They're all fucking crooks. That's just how it is. But I just wanted to come in, say hi. I miss you guys. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I will be around a whole lot more. Life's kind of slowed down a little bit since my daughter's wedding and, you know, everything else. So I will see you guys soon. Keep your notification bell on. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And you all have a kick-ass freaking day.